next up you this is my shame my channel shall okay let's see what is your situation as of now and what you need to know right there scorpions cancer something on my shame venus what you need to hear from me right now just one more time scorpions are okay Things are there. Some are rising Venus, which you need to hear from me right now. Your first card is the Nine of Pentacles. Interesting because Libra's also got the Nine of Pentacles in the first position. So, um, along with the Two of Cups. Wow. So some of you might be getting committed. Okay. Nine of Pentacles is a single person. But then, someone is coming in the picture. This person doesn't have a partner in this deck. When she is an empress, she has an emperor in the deck. But this this lady doesn't have a partner, so she's single. But then, along with the two of cups, you're going to get committed. What a beautiful start! Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo or probably a Cancerian. This is regards to a relationship. The reading already speaks about a relationship. Okay, you might have been committed, and now you're single. That could be also the story. Just saying, okay? Because I, I've just only seen two cards. Three of Pentacles. Somebody is trying to make this work. There might be a third party situation as well, because I was speaking about the other way around, and they showed me the Three of Pentacles. So someone might have recently been single. That's not a great start. Some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn or probably a Virgo. Scorpions out there. What else? Ten of Wands. Difficult, challenging times right now. Okay? It's been a challenge. So it's the other way around because they wanted me to speak about it. Things weren't going great between the two of you, between this connection. That's unfortunate. What is it? Page of Cups in reverse. Somehow something has fallen, yeah, fallen apart. The connection which you had, it has, um, it wasn't solid enough. Yeah. Some of you might have been dealing with a Gemini. Let's see what this is. Yeah, you might have been involved with them once upon a time. Now things have really come to... You know, it, it feels like um, the foundation wasn't strong. Something about them is a reason why you're coming through as a single person now. Because you are not with them anymore. Okay? You're not somebody who is very naive to be okay with whatever the bullshit they're coming, yeah? Um, they have been doing. You're not okay with that. That is why you are single now. It is about something which they did which you are not okay with. Moving on. But things have been overwhelming. Some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. Moving on. Scorpions are there. See, it's somebody who is very strong. Just like I said. You cannot be messed with. You're not okay with crap. Okay? I'm hearing the police siren. So, uh, there is some red flags from the very beginning. Or you are being aware of something which is like fishy and you are not okay with it because you are a powerful individual okay you have a strong uh, determined you know vibe about you you cannot be messed with moving on your next card is this one there's something which might have uh, come through Okay, some kind of a message, which is a reason you, you're like, that's it. Because this is a messenger energy. Somebody might have reached out to you. Hmm? 
regards to what was going on. You're coming through as a queen of pentacles who's very grounded, who knows her shit, who knows where she's going, who knows what she wants in life. I'm getting a very strong, you know, strong will energy from you, which is very impressive. I might be speaking to the Scorpions or the Cross Watcher. I don't know whom I'm speaking to, but whoever this Nine of Pentacles is. Okay, very grounded. She might be a mother as well. Just saying. But she wasn't okay with whatever was going on and she has made up her mind where how things should be. Alright, Scorpions. Uh, some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius or probably a Capricorn. Moving on. Scorpions out there. What else? The next card is this one. I got the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles. But yet, it isn't easy for you to, even if you have made up your mind where you want to go with this, okay? But yet, you have, you were unable to cut yourself from this person, even if you're separated from them, I don't feel like emotionally you are completely over them. That's what I'm saying. Uh, that does not make sense. Hmm? Because the devil is still lingering. This is unhealthy. This is toxic. And this is speaking about the emotional. Outside you are very strong, you're very grounded, but emotionally, because they showed me the difference with the Queen of Pentacles, you know exactly where you want to go with this, you where you want to head towards. Okay? When it comes to your emotions, you're still tangled with the devil, with the past. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini or Cancer or probably a Capricorn. What is your last card, please? You might still want them to reach out because with this page of wands, you might be hoping there is still a potential. Okay? Yeah, you're still looking into the past, wanting to reconcile maybe. Yes, for the wheel to turn, to go back to where it was once upon a time. That is why we got the devil. There is a toxicity which is, uh, which you're clinging on to. And you're hoping for it to work out. Okay. But it feels like you want them to reach out. Uh, what else please? What is your last card, Scorpions? Yes. You're convincing. You're building up the courage. You know. Uh, but you're convincing yourself everything is going to be alright. Things will work out. That kind of a vibe. You know, some of you might be dealing with a Leo. What is your last card, please, Scorpions? Yes. Again, the Six of Cups, you want things to go back to where it was. To the happy times. You know, Six of Cups, there is two people, two children, you know, having a nice time. So it was happy times once upon a time before you became single. And now you're hoping things will, okay? You're being very optimistic about this, that things will go back to where it was. You want to turn the wheel to, to this place, how things were before. That is the toxicity which they're speaking about. 
and it is overwhelming okay it is overwhelming you a thought of things will you know work out again it is over she's coming through again queen of pentacles you you are somebody who's waiting you are sitting grounded and you're waiting and you're thinking this will work out because we got the we got the strength card okay so you're convinced that one day things will be okay again not a great reading okay there is so much disappointment in your reading. There is so much regrets in your reading. You are single now, but you are hoping for that person to return. It doesn't show me whether it will happen or not, but it is showing me the toxicity in the way you're thinking. Okay, because it's just a five card reading. Whatever it shows, I'm going to speak about it. That's it. Some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn. That's it for now. This is Marishi Yuma Charashaluka. Until next time. Uh, some of you might be dealing with another Scorpion as well. That's it for now. Bye-bye.